Well, again, not, not a question, but a response to some of the vocabulary that was used in, in terms of the, I think, unconscious implications of that vocabulary effectively, mm -hmm. where, you know, with tear, rip, mm -hmm. and absorb, you know, tears become tears. Sure. Our oh, hearts get true. ripped out and we absorb, you know, the profundity of things. Mm -hmm. So, and, you know, the paper does all that. And that's what's happened to you. We're taking that one too. Someone's taking notes, right? Because yeah. that one's yeah. that's yeah. going in the that's going in there too. My aunt's got it. On. Okay, excellent. And I want a transcript yeah. of that. Um, yeah, I uh, again. We don't I, do we don't we don't realize that when we when we say it, but then you know I I I I, I, he, I hear and can translate things mm -hmm. into other uh, uh, levels of meaning, mm -hmm. and you know so that was an immediate. Kind of response to those terms are very affective, and not just about the materials. Yeah, no, I did. My mom has a, tells me all the time. She's told me all the time. People will tell you who they are. Just listen to them. They'll tell you. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to ask a whole lot of questions. You can just. They'll tell you. Um, and I think. I think understanding that and then kind of translating it back. Um, only way it reiterates that, uh, and, I, and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I really do think it's ineffective, or I feel I'm ineffective in communicating it. Right? Like sometimes I feel like I'm not. Um, that somehow it's not getting across. But then to hear to hear others speak of the work, one very kindly, which. Thank you, but. Um, but then so effectively, right, because it's, it's through that interpretation or it's through that, that the sight of others that I, too, get a clearer understanding, not just of them, but of me, right? I can see that, I, I can see that too, and I didn't, I don't think I recognized it, or maybe I recognized it, but I couldn't articulate it as effectively as you did right now. Maybe you need to help me write my artistry too. Then. <laughs> maybe she needs to help me do that, too. Um, so yeah, no, and, and thank you for actually kind of bringing that out. Um, that does open up a whole, a lot of other uh, avenues to kind of explore the language, and which is the thing that I'm always kind of looking at, struggling with, and in love with, um, the, the poetry of it all. Um, I, I, in my artist statement, I always say that, that the, uh, the language that comes closest to expressing anything about the work is poetry. And so I, I spend an awful, I'm not a very good writer, I'm just going to tell you right now, but I, I, I do an awful lot of it in the search of the language, right, in that search for the language, and, and, and to have others kind of um, um, reflect it back to me, right, in a way that's like, oh yeah, right, that's exactly it. I couldn't find the right way to say it, but that was exactly it. So yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, any other any other questions or or comments? Yeah. Just um, not a very esoteric question, hey, but I'm just wondering how should these really be hung? <laughs> <laughs> do you mean like orientation, or do you mean like like without, the proper way to hang a work of art? Clips. Oh man, I, you, you tell me, because I've been working on a system for a long time, but every time I do it, I, I, something goes wrong. So I'm clearly not mechanical enough to figure it out right now. But so, but because you've asked, so this is what I've, the last two systems that I've, I've tried that didn't work exactly, it doesn't mean that they won't work, I just didn't, I haven't perfected it. The last one was where I had put small paper pockets on the back, at the corners that then had rare earth magnets, right? And then I would have another rare earth magnet on the wall so that they, would, they were polarized to attract, right? So in theory, that will work. Like on paper, that is perfect. In practice, <laughs> you have to know exactly how much weight each one of those will accommodate 
and how many magnets you will need for the size and the weight of the paper. Oh I, ain't got no, I ain't got enough up here to figure that one out. So then, what I devised was, well, screw that. What I can do is just have a hanging system of, 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 of one or two metal bars, one at the top, one at the bottom, and then again, that magnet system, which will, will eliminate the use of multiple magnets. I could go with four, maybe five, and it, will, it should, in theory, work. I have yet to actually put that one in practice because I haven't gotten all the magnets yet, but I'm going to. Wow. And Joe's going to help me out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Any other, uh, any other questions or, 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 or comments? No?